Welcome back to Phoenix Point, folks. We are on episode five, and things are going so-so, I'd say, at best. We have a lot of very wounded and very tired soldiers, so they definitely need to be given a bit of time off to recuperate. Now, if we look at diplomacy, we have only met the disciples of Anu as of yet. We are very friendly with them. And we could go on their mission, which is up here, I believe. Uh, yes, it is. So that we got access to seeing all of their bases. But right now we need to recuperate. And we need to find a base in uh, Eastern Asia. So we're scanning over here right now. Hopefully we'll find a base over here in, uh, in uh, Eastern Asia. We, that would be very nice to get some more stuff going. If we take a look at our base, we have a fabrication plant. We're building a food production. And I think I want to build a training facility as well. So let's see, food production will cost three. So that'll take us to 17, which means that we could get a training facility. I didn't build one already, did I? No. All right, let's build a training facility here. That is going to take up most of our materials, but it is what it is. We need it. So we'll get that going as well. And then we'll go to the Geoscape and let time run a little bit while our soldiers recuperate. Construction complete. So there's our food production, and this there's new Jericho mural from... tech we've been hearing about. It sounds like a pretty cool technology, really. But has anyone thought about how easily it could be abused by, uh, I don't know, an autocratic leader with delusions of grandeur? Uh. So this is. Yeah. So. I'm guessing that this uh, Sinedrian guy, he he doesn't like New Jericho, so, well, we know that for a fact, really. So, if we say it's a worrying possibility, then New Jericho will probably dislike us. If we say New Jericho is a society of laws and principles, then Sinedrian will probably dislike us. Uh, this one, I don't know. That'll probably make disciples of Anu uh, like us, maybe? I don't know. And then we have no comment. I'm gonna go with no comment. Let's see. I okay. urge everyone to spend some time thinking about how the technologies we're developing should be applied. It's not the tech itself that's the problem. It's what we do with it. Okay. Well, at least no one disliked us for it they disliked each other for it but i don't really care about that the more the disciples of anu invest into this mutation tech the further away they will move from what new jericho considers humanity this is not a threat but a statement a thinly veiled threat i'd say all right there so... is still time to look to reason not superstition for solutions to seek answers in human will instead of submission to the alien. But that time is running out. These guys really don't like each other. It's surprising that we're getting these now because we've only met the disciples of Anu. Uh, but, um, yeah, I guess it is what it is. All right, so we got the food production, so we're now actually making food, and in three days we'll have the training facility as well. So that's good. No, let's let time run. I got a comment uh, on the backer build, the final episode of the backer build, episode 11, that I needed to stop uh, using the si mouse side scroll uh, because it was really annoying to look at because the mice, mouse was flying all over the place. And uh, I can see how that would probably be annoying, so I will try to... Uh, get rid of uh, that habit and use the WASD keys for uh, for scrolling instead. It's going to be tough because I'm so used to using the mouse side scroll, but I'll do my best to avoid doing that. All right, Arthron Autopsy. Summary. Early mutations of this creature type 
are associated with the first mist incursion in 2029. The vast populations that were compelled to walk zombie-like into the sea under the influence of the mist have been merged somehow with sea creature DNA to create the Frank these Frankenstein monsters. Now we are seeing increasing numbers of Arthrons on land. The hypothesis is that land-based gestation structures are breeding Arthrons under cover of a new mist outbreak. The latest Arthron mutations have little humanity left in them and they are considerably more dangerous to civilian popula populations. The longer term danger is that we can expect their evolution to continue at a rapid pace. The genetic origins 25% arthropod, 15% human, 60% unknown. Function combat, subhuman intelligence allows use of melded weapons. Reproduction, clone, and mutated ancillary objective locate nests. New items for manufacturing available. Ooh. The Goliath and the Goliath magazine, of course. Cool. All right, so we got that research done. And next, we're doing the fireworm stuff. Uh, I think we'll queue up the Pandoran colonies, and I think I'll actually put those at the top. And then we'll queue these guys up as well. Okay. Now, manufacturing, we're not manufacturing anything at the moment. I do... So, I, I'm playing a legendary campaign uh, privately. You can see here, you have private legend. Uh, so, I am playing that uh, privately. And to be honest, that seems like it's much easier than, than this uh, hero level, uh, hero difficulty campaign. But maybe it's because I'm playing it a little bit differently. And I'd like to maybe switch over to play a little bit like I'm doing in in my private legend campaign. But that's gonna take a while to do. So first of all, I'm really liking heavies in my uh, in my private campaign, and they are were uh, our heavy in this one was pretty much useless, right? Because he he couldn't hit a barn door from inside the barn. Uh, but there is a way to solve that problem. Now we have the Symes retreat there. We have this mission for. The disciples of Anu, and I think, I think we'll go do that one. We'll explore these sites on the way up there. So let's get going. Everyone is. Oh, we have a level up. Everyone is healed. We do need some ammo, so let's take a look at equipment. He is. He is completely out of ammo. That is that's his last round. Crap. So it would be nice to find some of that. And he also needed some training, right? Yeah. He definitely needs dash. What's this one? Resourceful. I think we'll put the rest into strength and speed and a bit of willpower. All right. And then we had uh, you, you're out of ammo as well. Let's just ammo up there. And let's just make sure that everyone is reasonably equipped. They are. What's this helmet we have here? An Odin helmet. Okay. Ah, that's because I gave him this one for more perception. Yeah. All right, let's head over here and do some exploring. This scan is almost done. We need to get another one going of those as well. There's a... Ooh, they have... You know what? Let's trade some of this stuff. We'll take all the materials we can get. Like that. And then we'll head over here and explore that site. Right, our scan is complete. Okay, Longinus Point. 
Longinus Point is a well-armed and extremely isolated haven that, rare, haven that rarely deals with the outside world. Its leader, Justinian Signweird, once a prominent member of New Jericho, split with Tobias West over the latter's obsession with genetic purity. Take much of Vanadium's old uh, advanced genetics warfare division with him. The split led to an extremely bloody two-day battle in June of 2043, and they have remained sworn enemies since. Okay. Signweird has contacted our operatives and allowed them into the Haven, but only because he needs our help. After we broke the West, he explains, we named our new organization Alchemy, because we intended to have the kind of flexibility West is incapable of. But it seems we are lacking the right alchemist. The alchemist is in question is a geneticist now working for the disciples of Anu. Sign Weird wants this individual retrieved and is willing to pay for our services. Hmm. Accept mission from share our operative's insights about Longinu's point security with New Jericho. Hmm. Now, this would probably make New Jericho like us a little bit more. But I'm think I'm just going to refuse it and New Jericho likes us a little bit more and we haven't even met them yet. So how they like us, I don't know. We before we go up and do this mission, we're going to go over here and start a new uh, scan. Uh, area scan and we might as well explore the area now that we're here anyway. Okay, that's another Disciples of Anu. Hmm. Alright, let's head up here and do this mission for the second initiation. Mission briefing. Instead of understanding what survival now depends on, instead of understanding that survival now underpin, depends on adaptation and cooperation, these raiders have kept up the ways of the old world, greed and conflict. They've been attacking havens, hoarding stolen supplies and causing problems for everyone with their unrelenting selfishness. The Exalted has decided that this must stop. Okay. Well, Exalted, let's uh, try and stop him. Okay. So, our team is kind of reasonable. We can't really give him anything else, can we? We don't have any more ammo for him. We could give him an Ares, but I'm actually quite happy with him having what he has, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, go back and deploy the squad. Now, completing this mission should give us... Uh, all uh, the disciples of Anu uh, havens around the world, which would be awesome. So let's hope we can complete this without taking any casualties, because we cannot afford taking casualties at the moment. It is just not acceptable. Okay, now this guy, what is he? Is he a technician or something? I think he's a technician. He looks interesting. He looks interesting. Okay, here we come in. And let's help out the disciples of Anu. Okay. Now, how do we know that we can see something? Oh, we can already see the guy up there. It's this mission. We had we played this mission in uh, in the backer build as well. I, this was a tough one. This was a tough one. Uh, hmm. We're definitely gonna need some cover. 
you come up here. Enemy in visual range. All right, we see some Target. guys. Now, let's try one of the others. We can only see those two. I'd rather take out the sniper than the other guy. Alright, 90 damage. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Let's see you. Why don't you have dash yet? Uh, We might have bitten off more than we can chew here, but we'll see. You just need to come as far forward as you can while staying in cover. So that would be there, I guess. Right, we see another guy, but we can't hit him. Well, of course we can't, but we can't with the pistol either. Have you? Uh, let's see, where are they? We have one there, one there. There are three snipers. Jesus Christ. Three snipers. That's a little bit troublesome. That worries me a great deal. Let's overwatch up in this direction. Come up here and grab this. But this guy needs to be a little bit closer, so I don't think that's worth it. Uh, I'd really like to be able to pull an Overwatch. Moving to position. Uh, Overwatch up this direction. Then we have you. You can come up here and overwatch in this direction. I'll keep my eyes open. And then the turn. Alright, hit him. A little bit. Another sniper. I think. Guys are overwatching. Ready to rumble. That was kind of a waste of a med kit right there. Okay, we have you, we have you, we have you, and we have the heavy up there. I don't know how worried I am about the heavy to be honest. I think quick aiming. And just taking target. two shots on this guy, maybe. Alright, we disabled his torso. Click him again. And I wanna fire on the same guy. Right, he's Poor dead. That's good. So, this guy can actually dash. Wanna come in and take this boy out. So we have a guy in here. So, if we dash up here. Uh oh. Missed. That's good. Then we can take this guy out, I hope. And again. Yes. Alright, that's two down. 
That's two down. What do we have here? This, this is an assault. Ooh, with Bulldog. So we, I really want to pick up their stuff. So what would be nice would be to disarm one of them. And that way get access to their stuff. Move over here. Can you hit that guy? No, not really. And you can't hit anything up there, that's for sure. Now... All set. You. Why don't you come in here? And he will overwatch over here. We have you. Moving now. The heavy overwatch worries me a little bit. Target missed. I'd say. Missed quite a lot too. This is a terrible shot, but we're gonna take it. And we did hit a little bit. Preparing to fire. Now that's a terrible shot. That's better. All right, in turn. My turn. You're gonna get it now. You missed. Action. Ah! He didn't. Ah! Ow. All right, you need to heal. Okay. First things first. Let's get patched up. And then All I need can't is a see shot. this guy. <gasps> so if you came over here, you'd be able to see him too. Heading out. Oh. Oh. Good miss. Good miss. Ready to fire. Should have dashed that. That would have taken out. And the sucks. Now you, you can get up here, uh, but you can't smack him. Moving to. I really want this guy to smack someone in the face. Right, we'll just take some center mass shots. I think one more hit would have been enough to I'm take going. him out. Then we have a sniper fire. here. Now you can quick aim. Targeting. Oh. Right, he's bleeding. Can you quick aim again? You can. We need an angle. We have an angle. He's dead. That's good. That's good. Alright, so then we have you. You cannot dash. But you can come over here. And shoot at this guy and hopefully take him out. Nope. 
And there's this guy. And he dropped something. It doesn't look like the other guys dropped anything, which is unfortunate. Hmm. Running. Well, you come up all the way up here. And end the turn. My turn. He's throwing a grenade. Ow. Here we go. You shouldn't be able to shoot again. Nope. Aim and he just killed someone. He just killed someone. God damn it. Well, that kind of sucked. Let's keep going. Well, at least we destroyed his rifle. But that helps us that much. Hey, now you. Just dash in here. Targeting. All right, dude. Did you drop anything? Nope. Okay. Well, if you dash, I can do it. Here. I need an angle. This is going to be a horrible shot. Oh, it wasn't too bad, actually. I think I'm in trouble here. It wasn't too bad. Okay. If you... Oh, wrong way. You move up here. Who can you then see? You see the heavy. I want you to see the other guy. Let's dash up here. You can't dash again, but you can right get over there. here and take this guy out. He's gonna bleed out next turn. So that's all good. All good. We have cover anywhere kind of there. Let's end the turn. Now, you can come in here and you can bash this guy in the face. Are you able to bash him from there, I wonder? I don't think so. I'd really like... Damn it. Okay. Let's... Strike him. Disabled arm. That should mean that... Yeah, two hands to use, so he cannot shoot that thing. Which is good. Comes online. It means you can come over here. And pick up our fallen comrades stuff. You can come up here for now. 
so that we're ready to pick up our fallen Conrad stuff next time. One up here. And you. There wasn't anything out there. Let's run over here and just double check. They don't have something that we can. Hope I can find cover. I don't have anything. That's a crying shame. Oh, and turn. Alright, so he can't do anything, so that's nice. He is just gonna get smacked to death next time. Ooh. A Jericho Gauss sniper rifle. That's not bad. That's not bad. All set. But was it worth it for our assault? It's not really. Not really. Well, we completed the mission, but it was costly. It was costly. We lost Martha. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. But we now the have well. the exalted sends her thanks, and the Synod of Yearning will speak the names of your operatives at morning prayer. Do not feel ashamed of having killed your fellow humans, although you may pity them, for in clinging to the old, they doom the future. The voiceless Hierophants shall judge you when the time is right. Okay. So, Disciples of Anu's attitude to Phoenix Project plus 5, Tech 200, Materials 200, Food 200. Diplomatic relations with Disciples of Anu have changed. Alright. Okay. Okay. So now we can see the Disciples bases all over the world. They have absolutely no presence in South America or and only very little in North America. That's a bit weird. So they are most decidedly strongest in Asia and Africa, I would say. Asia really is their uh, stronghold. All right. Now, since we lost our soldier, we need a new one. Amish Gnome's fleet. There's another Berserker, but let's see, what do we have? We have two. I'd really like a heavy. Is there a heavy somewhere? I kind of doubt it. Nah. I think we need to meet some of the other guys to get a heavy. I'm not sure though. Yeah, I think we do. I think we do. Which means I think we'll pick up another assault. There's an assault there. Is this an assault? No. Right. So you... You're pretty expensive. But there's nothing we can do about that. See, that's not an assault. All right, let's pick up this assault. Group you. And let's just take a look at personnel here. So, Amish. Oh. Hmm. Plus three speed, plus two speed. Plus four perception. 
That's not half bad. That's not half bad. Right, so... I guess you're getting one of those. Um, these incendiary grenades, I think we'll bring along with, on him as well. We do have this new Jericho stuff. Which gives more armor. I think we'll leave him with the Disciples of Anu stuff for now. But what I do want... Go to manufacturing and make a few medkits. Hamish. Grab a medkit and bring that as well. We didn't get any level ups, did we? I don't think so. Uh, no. We do need to provide some more ammo. For you, and for you. Let's just do that. And there was one more who needed ammo. Okay. We're completely out of ammo for the bulldog, unfortunately. That would be nice to take out. Okay, uh, let's head out here, because we need to find a base in East Asia. So let's hope that it's one of these guys. Alex Legacy Exploration Site. Okay. Our operatives have discovered an abandoned Phoenix Project facility. This is not a proper base, but only a small laboratory that was used to quickly analyze samples. It was shut down in 1989 on the orders of Fred Halleck, a bureaucrat who seemed intent on dismantling the Phoenix Project. Where's the site? Ooh. 400 materials, 90 tech, 80 food. That is very nice. There's not a lot left, but there are a few resources we could use. Dr. Broken Down Refrigerator is a character of Halleck with the words Dirty Fred's Dastardly Designs. <laughs> Underneath, uh, presaging... The scandal that pre I have no idea what that word is. Underneath pre presaging the scandal that ended Halleck's career. Some of the notes in the lab seem to hint at the possibility that Halleck's fall was engineered by Phoenix Project operatives. Cool. Nice resources there. Let's head over here and explore. Phoenix base, yes! You have located a Phoenix base and have brought it back online. Very nice. Let's have a look at bases. So we have this one, which is... 27 minutes, I guess, from building the training facility. Then we have this one over here. We need to repair the energy generator, energy generator for sure. And we want to re repair that as well, and we'll repair that also. Okay. So, 16 hours, 2 days. Now, we need more materials. We have quite a lot of tech. So, what I want to do here is I want to build uh, fabrication plants and research facilities and also a satellite uplink. But we can't afford any of that right now. So, let's see, we want to find places that offer tech. You offer tech. Uh, let's see, Haven Info, two for nine, you take everything. Okay. And then you offer tech. Let's go explore down here on the way. Okay, an abandoned structure. 
The Manticore 1 has detected an abandoned structure. On landing, our officers have been able to identify it. Someone has constructed a huge metal spire, welding together hundreds of pieces of abandoned junk into the strange object that at 20 to 30 meters in height towers over the landscape around it. Take off and leave the location undisturbed. Ransack the structure. All right. The Sapo Savanu like us a little bit less. The Jericho like us a little bit more. We got 450 materials, which we desperately needed. So I am good with that. Let's quickly have a look at diplomacy. So we are at 26% now for uh, for the disciples, which is cool. Now let's head over here. Research complete. All right. Research completed. Pandoran colonies. Pandoran colonies are underground tunnels like structures made of Pandora virus produced biomass. Following the ecological transformation of the sea, they appear to be the next step towards the total conquest of the Earth's ecosystems. Each colony produces its own specific mutations, which is why we see certain mut mutations predominant in different regions. The colonies seem to expand their area of operation over time, attacking any human settlements they find. Based on colony growth patterns, we suspect that there are multiple levels of development. The initial level has been classified as the Pandoran Nest. Cool. And we got some more uh, tech and materials and food. Nice. We want more tech. Well, we want more materials, actually, not more tech. Uh, two for nine. Yeah. Buy all of it. And... Let's have a look at bases. So... This is base 2. So we want a satellite uplink here. And we want a research lab as well. Alright. Now... Over here... Our energy generator is using 15 of 20. So... You know what, let's build another training facility. We don't have any soldiers there right now, but that's okay. And for manufacturing... Let's see... Equipment. Let's make a few med kits. Another of you. Hmm. Not sure about the Goliaths. I might use them. I don't know. Really know. I don't really know. All right. But what I do want to make is a full set of sniper armor. And that is going to be for our new heavy once we get it, because heavies with sniper armor are also awesome. I mean, really, really awesome. In my Legend playthrough, man, my heavy is my superstar. And then this one, he just got instantly killed, basically. All right, and we have an we have an upgrade. Or a level up, it's called. So you get bash. Watch this. Additional plus two willpower and ten perception range. That's really nice. And then we'll just do that. Okay. Now, no more level ups, right? Nope. We have a minor wound. That's it. So... We don't see any other nests or anything. So let's just keep uh, exploring here. And hopefully we find... Oh! Sunidrian! Enter Sunidian, stage left, Spartacus. 
At the Sinedrian haven of Spartacus, the situation is tense. Someone figured out that our open and de democratic society would be easy to infiltrate and steal from. One of the haven citizens tells our operatives. They pretended to join us and then made off with some critical research, which I assume they want to sell to another faction. The citizen sighs. They said they made off, but the truth is they didn't get very far. In fact, they're stuck in the haven, but as you can imagine, this is a strange situation. These people, these people pretended to be our friends. They lived in Spartacus for months, all just to make a profit. I suppose old habits die hard. We could assist Sinedrian with this problem. We could. We could, but we're not going to right now. Because... I think we need some easy scavenging missions and stuff before we start helping out uh, havens and taking harder missions again, because we are we are pretty uh, hard up, crap, ambushed. All right, we've been ambushed, and we are going to do this ambush mission in the next episode, guys, because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.